coming up we'll see what the actual vibe is like coming up but i'm curious to see because i think going forward what they may end up doing is they may end up using as opportunity to pivot the brand overall and just change everything about it and kind of maybe um return it to its roots to some regard and you're kind of seeing it already with the instagram this again is a throwaway observation for me because i'm not that plugged in i don't really know what's actually going on but judging by what they've uploaded on the instagram during the holidays and everything and they kind of stripped everything away they removed comments which is kind of weird so people can't really give feedback on the public platform and whatnot but it does feel like this little piece they put together best wishes and happy new year i'm doing that whole controversy i feel like was a definitely a sign as to what they're going to try to go back to because for the longest time you know as much as i love them now he was basically running a mock at them balenciaga doing exactly what he wanted essentially kind of taking the same provocation and sort of uh nuisance levels that he was running with when he was at Vetemar and kind of intri- you know in, in, imbuing it in fashion maybe a lot of it as well I always think and wonder that kind of provocation and wanting to always you know uh tease people in fashion I wonder if that's kind of um founded in some level of pettiness some level of bitterness as well maybe of what he's kind of gone through as a designer himself kind of struggling and kind of coming up the ranks and working in different houses and the kind of ugly side of fashion that he's seen maybe this is him kind of taking it out on people through his designs by currently making the fashion industry the kind of butt of the jokes even though they don't realize it in their kind of collections i don't know maybe it's the case but regardless there was probably a little bit too much of it and it probably tried to turn off people within fashion to the point where they were starting to kind of you know you know doubt or question his design skills when really i still think this guy's really at the top level but he just chooses to make you know fashion or he just chooses to make clothes that most fashion people don't necessarily gravitate towards in terms of like streetwear kind of you know average everyday wearing type of stuff people want to see this type of showmanship they want to see this type of archival couture really challenging social norms kind of stuff and really pushing the envelope things are a little bit more avant-garde and maybe he kind of purposely steers away from that and tries to elevate the mundane to luxurious levels that people don't necessarily like that but i feel like this clip that's on the blend instagram account now at the moment which says best wishes for the new year archival christopher balenciaga footage compilation from 1960 to 1967 right which is kind of, again this is kind of the era that most fashion people love about balenciaga they kind of you know fall over head and heels anything to involve in the christopher's era of back then this might be a sign that they may use the opportunity this cancellation to go back to the drawing board and kind of rein them in and say hey you're our guy you've kind of made blinch yoga relevant again you've restored the feeling you've kind of provided loads of interesting cultural moments the stores have become a destination to go to people want to show off the bags the, the sales are going through the roof but all these theatrics all these games all these kind of flirtations with the devil on the outside and the kitty diddling it must come to an end we must resort and go back to what we are as a house what we are as a brand what we represent in fashion and the people we're trying to represent and kind of uphold in this vision blah 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 so maybe this is a sign of it going forward and we're going to see more of it um going forward with because even as i said myself as a avid fan of the brand i feel like it's definitely kind of fell by the way wayside in recent years and it's not really been hitting the same in the slightest in the slightest so maybe we'll see this change popping up going forward and maybe we'll see them to be reined in maybe someone will definitely put them under control let's see let's bloody see <laughs>